Hello Guardian, Sweepathy here bringing you a brand new Destiny video. If you have been hard at work and ranked up your gunsmith to level 5 about 2 weeks ago, today you can finally receive the first curse. In this video I will show you all the steps to receiving the weapon as well as a short review on it. But first, let's take a quick look at the gun. The first curse is a high impact, low rate of fire hand cannon, similar to the Timmer's Lash from year 1. The first curse is the sister gun to the last word according to the lore and includes the same visual features. The unlocked perk is called Deadeye where it gains a bonus to range, stability, and movement speed when aiming down sights. It also gets triple tap for the first perk, quick draw, lightweight, and speed reload for the middle tier and the final perk called the first curse which precision kills while aiming down sights to grant increase to range and stability until the next reload. This perk seems to stack with the Deadeye perk and gives it a major bonus to range and stability, which are the gun's weakest stats. Once you reach rank 5 with the gunsmith, he'll give you a quest called Imprecation. Step 1 is to get 250 kills with a hand cannon and a primary telemetry active. Once you complete those kills, return to Banshee and wait until the next arms day. For step 2, Banshee will give you a common hand cannon called Imprecation, and you have three tasks to complete with this gun. First, you must infuse this gun until the text mechanica bubble appears. I got mine to 271, but I'm not exactly sure what the minimum attack value can be. For the next part, you must finish a match of Crucible with 7 headshot kills in one game. I just did control. And lastly, you have to get a 7 kill spree in PvE. Note that this gun only carries 6 bullets so you do need to activate triple tap at least once. I booted up the Dark Beyond mission and shot the enemies as soon as they stormed out. Once you've completed those tasks, you do have to wait another week for the next arms day. Finally, after all that waiting, you can pick up the first curse. When I use this gun in Crucible, it kind of feels like how hand cannons used to perform before patch 2.0. It has incredibly high aim assist and can potentially get up to a 2 shot kill. It does 95 damage for a headshot and 64 for a body shot. This is definitely a fun and unique gun to use, but in my opinion, it is hard to take advantage of its main perk because of its low magazine size. Once you do have the perk activated, the gun feels like it has no recoil. This is a solid PvP gun, but the Hawkmoon outshines it in every single way with its faster rate of fire and can get those 2 shot kills easier due to the 3 luck in the chamber bullets. Hawkmoon also has a magazine size of 13. In PvE, and this is my honest opinion, this gun isn't very good. Hand cannons aren't the king of PvE like they were before the Taken King. With the amount of shots it takes to kill any kind of high level enemy, you're only left with a couple of bullets left to take advantage of its exotic perk. In my opinion, exotics should feel strong when using them, but you don't get that same feeling when you're using this in PvE. I would choose any legendary scout rifle or pulse rifle over this gun in PvE. To conclude this video, this gun's very fun to use and the lore behind it is awesome to read about, but that's about it. If it had a higher magazine size and maybe add in a bonus precision damage for a short time after a precision kill to the first curse exotic perk, this thing could feel like you would actually want to use it. If you're a gun collector and you love this game, you definitely should get it. But it's just not as useful as other guns in PvP or PvE. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you thought it was helpful, please leave a like and also subscribe for more Destiny content. Comment below and let me know your thoughts about the first curse. Thank you Guardians for watching and goodbye till next time.